Well, it's a chilly morning here in Oregon, and this is not a lathe, and today's not Friday, so if you're looking for my wood turning videos, they're on Friday, and I've got a pretty cool one this Friday, so make sure you watch that. But I've got something at the end of this I want to show you that I've pretty much sworn off using it because I used it at work a lot, and I just didn't want to use it here in my little shop. And I've had people say, well, you should use this. And I go, well, I don't want to use this. And I'm not going to see what this is. If you want to see what this is, stick around to the end. And then you can look at what it is. And I have to admit, it looks pretty nice. Then you can say, I told you so. So this is a We Create Vision 20 watt laser. They contacted me a while back and asked if I wanted to use it. And I said, well, I don't know. I, I'm really busy. I don't have time to, you know, do that and make another video on it. And they said, well, if you don't want to make a video, you don't have to. I said, well, let me think about it. So I started searching for other reviews. I always go to Gord Rock's reviews. He did one. He is just excellent at doing these reviews. After watching that and seeing how cool this thing was, I decided I'd probably do it. I emailed him and said, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying it. And I'll either make a video or I won't. Well, it looks like I'm making one. So it's collapsed now, and I like that about it a lot because I've got a room I'm going to take it to in the back of my shop where I can keep it warm. It's pretty small, and it doesn't take much to heat it. So we're going to go back there and use it. This will go underneath the shelf that I have, so it's kind of out of the way. It only sticks out a couple inches, lose very little floor space. Plus, it's on a cart where I have storage underneath it. So, how you get it up in the air is just turn it on. Now, that's in what you call storage or transportation mode. I call it storage mode because that's what I'm going to use it for. When you do that, these are the cutting beds. They have to be taken out before you put it all the way down because the laser comes down and it'll hit it. It's going over to the corner and homing. And there we go. So then you just put those in. And there's also a little tray here. Well, you can't see that, but there's a tray that catches any cutoffs when you're burning and cutting. So you put those in. And you close the lid, and it, you'll see that in the software. I'm going to show you all that. I'm going to actually go in after I get it set up and warm back up, and we'll come back and finish that. When I'm all through, I'll come back out here. I'll bring it back out here because I can get better lighting and show you what I end up making. At least I hope it comes out so I can show it to you. So now, to get it back down, you do it with the software. I'm going to lower it and then show you a couple of the accessories. got my little laptop takes very little power to run so now it's going over to the middle it's going to go down because it's fully enclosed you need to get that smoke out of there there's a fan in the back there's a hose that I have hooked to it you can put this out a window if you're near a door that goes outside you could put it under the door or if you have an air extraction system, you can hook it to that. The other thing that's really nice, it's got the air assist that comes on by itself. It, it comes on as soon as it starts working, you don't have to remember to flip the switch. Alright, so let's go ahead, I'm going to roll this back. We'll get set up. The lighting's not going to be as good, but you really can't see a lot what's going on inside of here, but it's a place I can get warm. Right now I'm going to go warm up a little bit, move this, I'll be back. When we're through, I'll come back out here because the lighting's better, show you what I end up making. All right, you're looking down through that safety glass, so it's a little hard to see. But you're going to open this up. These are the cutting beds that are supplied. I'll just lay a piece of stock in here. And we'll be working with the view here and the view from the laptop, I hope. Okay, that should still be recording. I'm going to hit refresh. Okay. 
Okay, now you see that piece of wood on the screen. And we'll just make something simple here to do. Maybe I'll pick. I'll pick something out of here. Let's do that butterfly. And I can put that right there. And I need to autofocus, but I also need to um, decide if I want to engrave it, uh, do a fill engrave. And I'll show you more about all this. I'm going to go inside where it's warm and kind of show you how the software works. So we'll just do that. And it tells me what the settings are. And I can go down here and pick from there, decide what I want. It'll change it to that. And uh, I do need to autofocus. So the head goes over. It's going down. It's looking for the right spot. It stops here and then it goes down a little bit more. All right, that is autofocus. I want to get my fan going for the smoke. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit start. Processing, you should see that on the software. Send it to the machine. It's telling me to push the button on the front. We're going to do that. I think I made it pretty big. That's going to take a while, so I'll let that run, but we'll speed it up. All right, it's finished. It's raising. And I want to show you something that's really important. Okay, it's gone over to the corner. Now I can raise this up, and I can take that out, actually it looks pretty decent. If you want to put it all the way down, you need to take the cutting plates out. Otherwise the laser head will crash into it, and we don't want to do that. So I've got the software running, and what you do is you go up here to settings. All right, there's transportation mode, there's idle mode. Idle mode leaves it up a little bit. When you pick the transportation mode, it goes all the way down, and then it gives you two boxes to check. One, to make sure there's no work in there that it could hit. The other box is to make sure, and it shows on the image, that you've taken out those plates that I put in. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to hit confirm. And it's going to go over in the middle, because that's the only way it can go down that far. I'm cold. I have a heater. I didn't want to turn it on. It makes a lot of noise. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go into more detail on the software and have another cup of hot coffee. And when I come out, I'm going to have that heater going. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking. We'll just do some cutting and burning and all kinds of fun. So I'll see you shortly. So here is the software. It's called We Create Make It. It's a free download. This is the page that it opens to. It has all of these pre-made things you can make stuff. And not only are they made, it has the settings for the machine. I'm going to pick this lion and lamb photo. You can see here this one is zero cost. And if I click make it, it'll bring it in and there it is. There's all the pieces you would need. Here's the lion. and. I'll just show you without the rest of these what that lion's like. So I'm going to make that three inches. So there we go. There's the size. 
and it's still on basswood. So the settings for basswood, I can go over here and decide how dark I want it. We'll change the settings and then you can engrave it. I'll go ahead and show you the one that I think is really cool. It's called AI. It's an AI generator. You can do silly things like, well, put a hat on your cat. That would be fun, right? So I'll say cat with hat. I'll hit generate. <clears throat> well, that's pretty cute. So I could just import this into here, make adjustments on it, and we could engrave that. I like that a lot. I should save that. I can come back and get that one. Oh, should we try something else really silly? Well, okay. Actually, I need to show you this. This is all in there, and these are uh, no cost on any of this. You can pick what you want. Here's a little bird. We can pick that bird, and uh, he actually just came in with his buddy the cat, and we'll do like so. Now I could put this bird on top of that, like so. Or I could just do the bird by itself. Because if I wanted to do the bird by itself, I would have got rid of the cat. And we could have done the bird. We can do all those same things. We can just make it bigger like this by grabbing it. Looks like we can reverse it. How about that? I didn't know that. I just learned something. Okay, well, I think all this is pretty cool. Um, I'll be showing you more once we get out there. But you can do the typical drawing circles, making lines. Uh, you can do text. It'll come in and it'll say hello. You start typing and it'll change. So I uh, think it's time to head out to the shop and we'll start engraving these. And then there's another feature that I cannot show you right here. You have to have the machine in front of you so that the camera on the machine shows on my screen. And then we'll do something pretty cool. So I'll meet you out in the shop and I hope it warms up. So while the machine's running, I'm going to go ahead and give you the specifications of the machine. The size of work that it does, you can do a piece of material up to 3 and 15 sixteenths when it's sitting on the bed. And uh, that equates to 100 millimeters about. And without the cutting bed, it'll do 5 and a half inches. And that's equivalent to 140 millimeters. See, I have to look this up. And the processing area, the area that it will do its work, is 16 and a half by 11 and 7 sixteenths, or 420 by 290 millimeters. And the maximum size of material you can put in there is 18 and three quarters by 12 and a half, or 475 by 318 millimeters. And I got all this out of the manual. I haven't measured it. So while I'm using this machine. I'm just going to give you dimensions in inches if I do any <laughs> dimensions at all. They're not really important, but I'm not going to convert them. When I need to convert something, I just use 25.4. You either multiply or divide and you can get what you're looking for. What I'm engraving here is one of the photos that was created by the AI software. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm back out here. I've got the WeCreate software on and I've got the camera showing the bed which shows nothing on it and I've got my other video camera going so we can kind of tie these together. So I actually have some pieces on the bed and I'll hit the refresh you'll see what's on there. Okay got three blocks of wood they're not really lined up. I'm going to show you a little trick this will do. I've got this cat right there I'm just going to drop him like so. Now, if I want them on all three, I could duplicate it and drag it over. But something that the software will do is called Smart Fill. So I've got them like this, there, and now we have the cats over here. Now this guy, he, he came in on an angle, but we can fix that easy enough. Just turn him like so, bring him back up there. So now I need to focus the piece. Yeah. 
So it picked one of the boards it's going down and focusing. All right, now, so we'll pick one of these and decide the shade of engraving we do. Uh, it's on light wood. How about we, let's go with this one here. Now that automatically fills in the settings for that. So we're kind of ready to go. I'm going to hit start and we'll see how it turns out. And that pops up. It's going to tell me to send the file to the machine. And it shows me there to push that button. So let's go ahead and push the button. Now you just heard the automatic air assist come on. It's not really noisy, but when you have the laser going, the automatic air, a air purifier, and my little heater, there's quite a bit going on. I think this took about 28 minutes to do all three of those. You're not going to have to watch all 28 minutes of it. With everything running in the background, it was just too noisy to let any sound come through. Everything got picked up, so I kept the sound muted. I'm going to keep it muted when I show you the part, but after I show you this, we're about done doing all the work on it. I'll show you everything I made because there's some pretty cool stuff. All right, I'm back out here. I've got a number of things to show you. I didn't record all of them. Basically, you can't really see what's going on through that uh, tinted glass, but this is a, a lion I did using the AI, and he's got his hat on up here. And in the process of doing these, I discovered a way to make that stand out a lot better, and I'll show you that pretty soon. And I did these ornaments. And there's two layers there, and I painted the back side of it red. So we have that one. We got a cat ornament. Another little Christmas ornament here. And another one. So using the uh, Smart Fill actually worked quite well. And we made this design and duplicated it two more times. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I made that I said I would never use in my wood turning, but sometimes you have to do it. This is from the AI, and there's a cat in there, and it's kind of dark, and uh, like I said on the lion, I figured out how you can actually make that background go away. And then, and then we have this one here. So what did I do on this? Well, I broke down and poured epoxy. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, you probably thought I'd never do that. Well, my whole working career making wood patterns, when the foundry wanted more than one pattern exactly the same, we would make epoxy molds and then we would pour resin in them to duplicate them. So I've got my fill of epoxies and resins, but I did it because it's a coaster and I thought it would look pretty cool and it would hold up. What I discovered was I could erase the background. And uh, that, to me, that looks better. And, and there's this guy. So it really worked good. I'm pretty impressed with all of it. I like the way it focuses. It, uh, it seems to be perfect every time it does it. And I don't know what more you'd want. So if you're interested in it, I've got a couple links. I'm going to put those in the description. Have a look at it if you're interested. And if not, that's fine. But what you want to remember is this Friday, wood turning video. And I guarantee you, well, it should be pretty cool. <laughs> so thanks for watching.